hello fashion lovers welcome to my channel today we are going to look at the sewing part of this beautiful maxi gown called kaba so let's get started we are going to be sorry we are going to begin by attaching the cape to the neck after we have already turned our cape neatly with the lining we are now going to attach it to the neckline of the dress the next thing I'll do is to notch it all round and then I top stitch on the part of the lace so that the cape can lie so that the tape can relax well on the neckline after turning we fix it and we place the down part that's the part with Ankara we are going to stitch it on our half length beginning from the center so we first of all notch the center on the Ankara we also notch the center on the lace and then we place it good side facing good side and we stitch it all through You can use your pins to ease the work so that your parts remain in place. So we sew all through. After sewing, I went ahead and notched so that it can relax well. So this is the outcome. That's how it looks. So we are going to design the upper part using the borders of the lace to make those ruffles or pleats on the upper side. So we place it facing up and we stitch. We stitch down the pleats, we pleat it gradually and stitch. Take your time and arrange the pleats very well and after sewing we are going to flip it over to face downward. So we are going to continue by stitching the base part which is having pleats also. That is the second step down which is also pleats. Remember I said we are doing some adjustments and we are adding a pleated part under this gown so we are going to continue making our pleats right to the end we continue by designing the front part of the kaba using our lace you can design with any design you wish here we are just going to sew lace at the center front just place our lace stripe and we fold in a bit and we stitch it right down now we are stitching the next side of the lace to make it very neat the next thing we are going to do is to design the sleeves also remember the sleeves have a puff so we notch the center of the arm of the sleeve and we also notch the center of the piece that we are going to use to make the pleat so we are pleating the ankara on the lace So that's it. At the end of this sleeve, we have a band 
made from the lace. So we also notch the center and we pleat the Ankara on the lace band so that it forms a puff. After pleating, we fold the lace and top stitch on the good side to give it that neat finishing. So I went ahead and joined the shoulder part of the dress and now I'm going to fit in the sleeves beginning from the shoulder and notch the center of my sleeve and pin it at the center of the shoulder so that I can stitch it all round. So we do the same for the next sleeve and after that we are going to join the sides and fit in the pocket. So this is the outcome. This is the outcome. I'm still going to post the full picture of this gown in our next tutorial. So please stay tuned and remember to click on the notification bell.